It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Baltimore Ravens. And it comes your way next. Let's go, y'all. Next to some of the northernmost waters of the beautiful Chesapeake Bay, we're at M&T Bank Stadium near Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage. And maybe six points, too. Ball teed up. Austin Seibert out for the kick. And we're off from Baltimore. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. Well, what does Lamar Jackson have in store for us this time around? Now a two-time NFL MVP. We know, we know he is electricity personified on a football field, must see TV. He also knows, and these Ravens do too, that they got to take that final step, got to get to a Super Bowl and ultimately win it for the two-time MVP. First play is to the air. He'll get this to Henry. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Here's Derrick Henry getting it on the ground. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. That offensive line and that O-line coach got to look at those pictures and figure something out. Because you cannot let a defensive tackle defeat your block at the point of attack, or you're going to get a negative run time after time. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. You know, that may have been a situation when you look back on it and he watches the tape the next day, and he's got to find a way to throw the ball because his running ability, while it gets him some yards, is not enough to get the first down. The Ravens going to punt this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. And the sunlight's Chevy. not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. So now the Commanders will get their turn at an opening drive of the game. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Jaden's the closest thing we've seen to Lamar Jackson. And while there's only one Lamar Jackson, the two-time MVP, Jaden's going to push him a little bit in this league. He is a tremendous athlete. Over 1,000 yards rushing down the SEC, and he's just got the instincts, the feel to know when to run it. And, man, he can also sling it. A quick, compact, accurate release. I can't wait to watch this guy's skill set unfold in the NFL. Completed here to McCaffrey. And he gets it up close to the 25 before he's out of bounds. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Second and six coming up here. From the 23. This ball is cut by McCaffrey. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. That one ends up a gain of six. 
And the Commanders will have a first. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. Here we go, second and nine. Throw complete to Eckler. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Play fake here. Daniels. Got a man. McCaffrey has it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that'll be good for a Washington first. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Again, Daniels to the air. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they take him down right along the 30. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Out of the gun, Daniels. Able to hit Robinson, complete. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. So now here's third and five. Now Daniels off the play action. Complete beyond the marker. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. 16 yards on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Short side option here. He's running left. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. And they take him down after just a small gain on the final play of the first. All right, still scoreless through one quarter, but that looks like it's going to change pretty soon. A couple of zeros on the board right now. Back to the bank in just a moment. Now on comes Austin Seibert for the field goal. A little more than a chip shot. This is 25 yards. 
And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that one's going to get them on the scoreboard. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Deontay Hardy to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. His pass is complete. That's Zay Flowers. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. It's a gain of 12 there. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Gets this to Bateman. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Handoff headed right to Henry. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. It now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. One of the tight ends motioning left. The play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. Lamar now from the gun. Escapes out to the left. And this one doesn't go far. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. Jordan Stout on now to punt. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And the Commanders will go on offense. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Quick throw, right side, complete to start this drive. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. From the gun, it's Robinson. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Give him three on that game. And that'll be good for a Washington first. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. 
First down, and they go right back to him. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Quick hitter complete. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Shotgun snap. A give to Robinson. And he'll get it up to the 44. This one goes for three yards. And the Commanders will have a first. You love a huddle? Kate, okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there, and he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. Daniels from the pistol. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. That brings us to the two-minute warning at the Inner Harbor. The Commanders trying to make some noise before halftime. Second and three now. From the gun, it's Daniels. Has a man, it's Brown. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. It's enough for a first down. Nice find by the rookie quarterback from LSU. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. First and ten now. Here's Daniels. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Brandon Stevens has it. And the Ravens get the football back across midfield before going down inside the 45-yard line on the return. Our coaches just love that effort right there. Instantly, as he made the pick, everybody was looking for a block and doing their part to set up the return. And I know it pales in comparison to giving up the turnover, but how about the effort on the other side to track him down and stop a potential pick six? I think everybody deserves a little credit on the field for that effort. The Ravens trotting out their offense. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Bronk. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Shotgun snap to Jackson. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And they make the stop, we're going to say it about the 37-yard line. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Second and three now. From the gun, Jackson. Connects with Bateman. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. All right, set now, first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Completed to Flowers. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Options are open here. It's second and inches. And again, it's Jackson. That's taken in by Henry. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens take the lead just before halftime. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. 
So the back does the work that time, Brock, taking it in for the touchdown. Yeah, a running back in space can be an awfully dangerous weapon on a football field, mm -hmm. whether that's a designed route to him, a check down. You see what can happen, what kind of damage the elite running backs in this league can do. Justin Tucker to try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The commanders ready to get their offense out there for the final time in the first half. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. The clock reads 24 seconds now as the final drive of this half begins. On first down, here's Daniels. He's got it, room to run. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout, so that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Daniels on first down. This ball's cut by McCaffrey. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. And that's incomplete. There's seven seconds left. Time for one, maybe two more snaps. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They are throwing it again. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. Only time left for one more snap, Brock, so they're gonna run out their field goal unit. This from 40 on the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. So we've reached halftime here in Baltimore. The Ravens flying into the break with a lead. Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check in around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. The first half belonged to the reigning NFL most valuable player, number eight, Lamar Jackson. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Has this at the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. 
The commander of offense with the football first to begin quarter number three. And their defense sure has kept this game close. Now it's time for them to come through, get some points for their team in this low-scoring affair. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Daniels back to throw. He's on the move. He takes it himself. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 31. And he brings it in, but got too close to the sideline there. They're ruling him out of bounds. We've got third down. The best of the best, they just have this intuition, Kate. They know where the boundary is without looking. This receiver's not quite at that level yet. He lost track of where he was, and he brought it in, but out of bounds. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Out of the gun, Daniels. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Play fake here, Daniels. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. He was looking for Terry McLaurin. So second down coming up. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. On second and ten now, Daniels. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. All plays on the table here for third and three. Throwing now, Daniels. That's caught for the first. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on a defense. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Quick pass, right side complete. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Again, Daniels to the air. He just throws this one away. They've held him out twice. Here we go, third and goal. And he's brought down for a loss. That was a beautiful picture, Kate, of stop the run on the way to the quarterback. Third downs, I don't mind a draw call. You're thinking pass, you want those defensive ends to come upfield. But kudos to that whole defense to stop that run on the way to the quarterback. For the third time today, we see them setting up for a field goal. Angling this one in from the right hash to challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. 
Okay, we know that every one of these NFL games, well, they can take a life of their own every single weekend. Some are high flying with lots of points. Others, like this one, they're a grinder. And when you're in a low scoring game, every one of these kicks is important. It's all lined up. Cybert now ready to send this fly. Fielded at the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. Now the Ravens all set for another possession. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and ten. Third quarter starts with a run from Henry. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. All right, here we go. Second down. Blitz coming. Lamar. He finds Aguilar. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. They send a tight end in motion. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. The flag makes this third down and ten. Lamar now from the gun. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Baltimore lined up in punt formation. Jordan Stout's the one to send it away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. They're out and set. First and ten. Quick throw, right side, complete to start this drive. And not much doing, he stopped quickly. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Robinson up the middle. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. This dude was just not going to be stopped, not by the first defender, heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this beast down. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Now Daniels off the play action. 
Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. From the gun, it's Daniels. Has a man, it's Brown. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. They'll get 18 yards there. And that'll be good for a Washington first. I'll be honest with you, Kate. As you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had on the perimeter. Just one quarter remaining in this one. It's the commander's ball. A chance at a win if they can hang on to their lead through the fourth. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Robinson on the inside give. And he takes it up and across midfield into Ravens territory. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. From the 47, finds his target, Robinson. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. Ravens bring an extra DB out there. Third down coming up. Daniels from the pistol. Ravens swoop it in, and they bring him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, the game wasn't on the line with that series. <laughs> but don't tell the defense because they brought the urgency and juice like it was. Getting the sack, setting up fourth down, well, it picks everybody up on that sideline. And now their offense gets a chance in a one-score game. Commanders punting on fourth down, and they're going to bring out the ever-reliable lefty Vets, Tressway. And he's got this fair catch right along the 12-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Ravens will go on offense. Yeah. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Henry gets it here to start the drive. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the runner. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. Offense to the line for second down. From the gun, Jackson. And the Commanders get home, they drop him. And that pushes them back, third down coming up. It's looking like a dreaded three and out offensively, but listen, if you can't keep your quarterback clean and upright, you're going to need some magic, big-time magic, to convert on this third and long. Looking at a tough spot to punt it away if this third down is unsuccessful. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Tried to connect, but it winds up incomplete. Just got a hand up on that to break it up. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. Gets this one away from a tough spot, backed up inside the end zone. 
and they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be good field position for them as they take over right at midfield. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Ravens swoop it in and they bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. When we think about safeties, I mean, it's, it's just right in the name, right? The safety is the last line of protection in the passing game. We don't think of them as blitzers. But, Kate, let me tell you, for a safety blitz to get home, they got to be great disguisers. They can't show that blitz early. That safety didn't, and the quarterback took the brunt of the contact. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Here's a give to Robinson. And he gets back to the line, but no more. A run for no gain doesn't help matters. It's third and long coming up. Well, one defender failed. Well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Got to figure out this third down here. He'll throw it. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Third and long, and that coordinator decides to dial up the pressure, and they get to the quarterback. You know why I love this call, Kate? It's not just because of the aggressive makeup, but you really dictate to that offense. Third and extra long is a great time to blitz, because either you get home like that, or the ball's got to come out way short of the sticks. Job well done defensively. The commander's ready for the punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. Man, it'll be their football. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Bateman hauls it in. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. And the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay a game. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead they take the penalty. Back to the line they go. It's second down. One of the tight ends motioning right. Second and six now. Completed to Flowers. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Jackson looking to throw. Dumps it off to his running back. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. Throwing now. 
Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball, right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. Working fast as the clock ticks towards zero. Here he is to throw. Pass into the hands of Mark Andrews. And they get this down to the 28. The commanders take a timeout. So they're first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Offense set for a first and ten. Here's Henry on the option. And he's brought down for a loss. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. All right, here we go. Second down. To throw. He's got it. Room to run. And he's going to step out with no game. It's sure nice to have that safety valve. Sure nice to have a running back that not just able to tote it, Kate, but he's able to catch it. That's now multiple times they've looked his way and multiple times he's delivered. He's driving some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Now to throw. He's on the move. Steps up and he's running with it. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. Still one more in their pocket to use. To the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. From the gun, a run for Henry. And he will score and give him the lead in the final minute. So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves him in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. Tucker on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. So they tag him for roughing the kicker. And now this kickoff's going to come from the 50. Let's see if they loft in and try to stick him deep. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. And he got all of that one out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Washington are ready to go on offense as they take the field. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. First and ten now from the 30. Looking to throw it. Got a man. McCaffrey has it. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. 
Washington calls it second time out. Still one more in their pocket to use. To the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. He'll look to throw it. Escapes the pocket. Now here he goes. And he's tackled for a short game. Final timeout taken by the Commanders. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Second down now, seven to go. Setting up to pass. Got a man over the middle, complete. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Commanders will have a first. I know the Combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the Combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut. Ravens swoop it in, and they bring him down. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. So it ends as a win for the Ravens. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end. But their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.